Well, what do we have here? This is the SVR 101 state variable reverb that I just finished working on the circuit for. And I want to give a quick overview of kind of what went into it, and then we'll move into some demo of the sounds. I don't want to spend too much time talking about what uh, what it takes to make this. So if you have any questions about it, just hit me up in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. But essentially what this is, this is a spring reverb unit and also a state variable filter with a kind of interesting routing scheme that gives you a lot of flexibility. So it has one in and one out. It is a mono uh, effects instrument. And what happens here is the dry signal goes straight to the dry pot and to the output. It splits off into the send, which sends into the reverb. And from the reverb, the reverb goes either out directly to the wet pot or through the filter, the state variable filter here, which is a Craig Anderton supertone control. Uh, and then you can blend the dry and affected signals. So the interesting routing scheme I talked about is this switch here. So when you have it in off mode, you basically, the filter's disabled. All you have is the, re the send of the reverb and the wet and the dry mix. When you have it in the verb mode, what happens is the filter is placed before the mixer. So you actually have unaffected dry signal and you can use the state variable filter to shape and control the actual reverb signal itself before it gets mixed uh, to the output. When you have it in all mode, that filter actually moves after this mixer. And so you can then use the filter to control the entire mix, including your wet and dry signals controlled through the filter and then to the output. So it's a pretty convenient uh, way to shape your reverb tones. So what have I got going inside? I have a uh, Paya power supply. This is Paya electronic stuff. Uh, Paya from Oklahoma in the US here. Uh, just of note, this is a case I found for 10 bucks at Goodwill. So always go to Goodwill. You never know what you're gonna find. So inside here, I have the Paya Hot Springs reverb kit with two reverb tanks and the driver board. Uh, there's the rotary switch for the complicated mode switching, which I'm probably going to use in other devices because it's a really nice way to put parts of effects before or after other effects in the chain inside a device. Uh, you actually have the super tone control board. They don't sell this anymore, but I happen to have one from the 90s that I converted and mounted into here. And then uh, a Catgirl Synth CGS DC mixer. And um, that's it. So it's... a uh, Really kind of a basic setup at the end of the day, um, but wired in an interesting way. And, and it's all about the tone. And for me, this beats my Boss reverb. This beats any of my vintage reverbs from the 70s. This is a really nice spring reverb. And so let's go on and check out some of the sounds. All right, so to start out, let's just look at the plain reverb mode. So I've got this uh, switch in the off position. That means the only knobs active are gonna be the send amount, the wet amount, and the dry amount. So we'll send in a little synth sound. Dry is all the way up, wet is at midnight. I'll turn the send up. Okay, so you get the basic idea there uh, with the basic tone of the hot springs. So let's turn this so the filter's active. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this to um, the all mode so that the filter will be placed after the mixer section. Start the same sequence here. And so to, to bring up any of the passes, um, you have to turn up the volume. Um, so if I put this, uh, I'll turn the low pass up. Frequency is all the way up. 
you'll notice the gain is a bit louder here because the super tone control actually has some gain to it. So you can hear the filter doing its job, but we don't have any reverb in right now, so let's do the same thing after I bring in some of the reverb. So you can hear the filtering action actually controls the source tone as well as the verb signal. So let's look at some of the other passes here. I'll turn a low pass down and band pass up. And we'll do the same for high pass. A high pass will turn frequency all the way down. Just to give you an example, in this mode, because of the mixer, you can pull the dry signal completely out. This is actually a good mode to give you a demonstration of this, this switch, which adds a resonant peak to the already high resonance. So we can turn this on. Okay, so you get the basic idea, state variable filter, controlling the overall mix after the reverb. So let's put it in the middle mode, which is the verb mode, where the state variable filter controls only the output of the reverb. So we'll hear dry signal on its own. So state variable filter right now is actually controlling the reverb tone. So if we turn the low pass mode up, You'll hear the reverb being filtered, but not the dry signal. I'm going to take a look at the high pass here. The other advantage of having this send control is it's really a send and return to the reverb, so you can use this to do those live dub type stabs when you've got something going on. So let me stop this and put some beats on here. Got it in high pass mode.
take the kick drum out here of the B pattern with the filter. Okay, so um, let's take a look at processing uh, kind of a whole pattern of uh, sound here. back to all mode. You can hear with the all of the bands up and get an interesting kind of uh, response here. just on its own as a filter, it's a pretty cool effect. Well, that's it. That's the state variable reverb sound I've been working on for a couple of weeks here. Finally got it to play mode. So I hope you enjoyed the demo. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or here on YouTube, and I appreciate um, all of the support. I am horrible at getting back to comments below, but please, uh, if you have any questions at all about how this came together or uh, build one for yourself, let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you. This is DJ Thomas White.
for Natural Rhythm Music here on YouTube, and uh, see you in the next video.